Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day where you're going, what? Lucifer episodes two in a row, yes. Don't get so excited though. I'm between, we're between endings and starts. So I'm able to squeeze one in. And this is season two, episode three, mom is staying. She has nefarious plans. You can see the nefarious plans in those eyes. Amenadel is molting. And Lucifer, I guess you can say, has exposed his weakness, which apparently is Chloe. Big surprise, not surprised. But he showed pride in her in front of his mother. He remembered Trixie's favorite thing is chocolate cake. So he's invested in this family. What does that mean? I don't know. We'll have to watch. And I'm so glad that you're with me for this adventure. So I hope you're ready to go under the big cozy blanket. I have my menage a trois on hand. I hope you have your favorite beverage. You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. You're going to subscribe. You're going to hit like. You're going to tell me what you're drinking. All the things. And we're going to have a good time. So let's get to it. I was stupid. And I'm sorry. You know, all I want now is forgiveness. Is that only because you're chained up to something and about to, or you are facing death? Oh, that's a fire. <laughs> Candle wax is delightful. You stop this torture anytime you like. You just say the word. Don't you dare stop. <laughs> what happens if he stops? <laughs> brought a surprise. I oh. certainly did not bring any surprises. Oh, she's beautiful. That's my mum you're talking about. This just got too weird. Mm -hmm. Is he rethinking about the open access elevator now? I know I chose not to return you to hell yet. Which I appreciate. You brought hell to me. <laughs> Remember, I'm still getting used to this earthly skin, Zach. Yes, yes, you used to be a goddess, I know, but things are different now. So what does a goddess do during the day goddessing in the other sphere. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here and hide? See a movie. Go to a museum. Catch up on what's happened over the past few thousand years. To be surprised. Yes, I suppose a lot has changed. I mean, who would have predicted you would have taken on this human job? I'm a punisher mother. It's what I've always done. The only thing that changed was the low carb. <laughs> We haven't seen him do a whole lot of punishing. Just little. Thinking, but I was assisting on a stakeout that went long, and I'm really sorry. But I promise you, I will make it up to you. Okay? How? I had a thought. Oh, a cake! Double fudge, your favorite. I think she'd rather have your affection You're like, yeah. in the long run. Although right now she looks happy for cake. Are we still going on our family camping trip? Oh, I. Uh, We're what? still working out the logistics of that. <clears throat> Look, I know that you're still mad at me. I deserve it. But this stuff between us is starting to affect Trixie. Of course it is. I was stupid. And I am sorry. Oh, they got video. The victim's name is Nicholas Sands, 35. Worked as an exec at the internet startup called Wobble. Nick's confession was posted to his Wobble account six hours ago, right around the time of death. Ella, do we know how the fire started? Any chemicals we can trace? Yeah, she can figure that out by sight. Okay, so based on the burn pattern, which is pretty gnarly in this case, it looks like the highest concentration of accelerant was placed, well, here. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Lucifer. I mean, I've heard of hot pants, but this really brings new meaning to the term fire crotch, doesn't Lucifer. it? Lucifer. Wait, I have more. Smokey Bobinson, Weekend at Bernie's. Is Bernie Bush? Oh, very good. <laughs> That was actually me, by the way, so don't tell anyone. Hey, guys. Seriously, look at this. Our killer was clearly punishing his victim. And punishing is my job. So, so you there's should, someone out there stealing my jam. I need to find out who. This game bloody on. Okay, so get in, Chloe. I don't recall ever hearing either of them say that they love the other person. They want to make their relationship work because they care about each other. 
The only person they seem to care about is Trixie, which is their child as they should. But any getting back together does not sound it's for them. It's only for their child. And that's not longevity. Did I miss something there with them? Emails from Nick's supervisor at Wobble, a woman by the name of Lila Sims. How could you? I should have known better. You won't get away with this. She put it in a text? And Nick was so sweet and charming. Robin Gibbons! How could someone do such a thing? I missed that in the credits. We dated briefly, a while ago. Oh. <sighs> Too subtle. Why did you torture the poor young man to death? You think I had something to do with this? Well, we know about the angry emails. I was pissed off. He shared pictures of us together. Revenge born. No, just of us at, oh. at dinner. I'm his boss. An inter-office romance is frowned upon here. Oh, I went way dark then. Way dark. I'm going to need you to pull up the video of Tommy at the company retreat. Ray's head of our HR. Being protective is part of his job. Do it, Ray. Ray's head. Ray's HR. But he had a tendency to be a little harsh with interns. AKA, he could be a real dick. <gasps> That's a lawsuit. Lawsuit. Nick posted the video shortly after the retreat, and even though it was quickly taken down, everyone saw it. He quit pretty soon after. Certainly looks like motive. And a lawsuit. What can you tell me about Nick Sand's death? Just that the bastard finally got what he deserved. As soon as I took the job at Wobble, Nick made it his personal mission to make my life hell. Sabotaging my work, terrorizing me, making me the butt of all of his jokes. Lawsuit. Did you kill Nick? I understand punishment all too well. Oh, he's not answering right away. He's professing his innocence. So tell me. Did you just I killed him? him. Oh. Well, come now, detective. He obviously wanted people to know that he got his revenge. Now our would-be punishers brought to justice, and the field is mine again. What on earth is she doing here? Why are they all being so chummy? Well, she used to be a cop, and oh yeah, because she's she a knockout. She used to be a cop. How did you even find your way here? Well, it wasn't difficult. I simply smiled at a male human and asked him to take me. Need I remind you that Charlotte Richards has a husband out there who's wondering where she popped off to? I just don't understand. Of all the things that you could do with your talents. Have you considered I might enjoy exploring humanity? They eat, darling. And then afterwards, the food comes out changed and not for the better. <laughs> Tommy was humiliated. Makes sense why he'd want to kill Nick. Something just doesn't sit right. Detective, you of all people should know how good it feels to punish someone who's wronged you. You may not be roasting Dan's chestnuts, but a shoulder shrug here, a dismissive look there could be just as effective. But have you considered for just one moment how your fighting affects those caught in the middle? You mean Trixie? What? No, I mean me. <laughs> <laughs> I know who's wrong. I should have posted that video. She didn't deserve to be humiliated like that. Who's she? Well. Not a fire. <sighs> Two murders, same MO. I'm getting um Dan Brown oh, the book. The Robert Langdon book where somebody dies from fire and water drowning and suffocation. Victims Adam Weiser, 29, worked as an assistant at a local bank. Time Ooh. of death was two hours ago. But... And yet this dude asphyxiated. He was choked with an apple? No. More like an orchard. We're gonna have to cut him open to get the rest. It certainly brings new meaning to the term deep throat. Why not just kill the guy? By all the pomp and circumstance. Torture! Torture. Look at this. <gasps> oh, and he posted it? Yeah, well, what's with the outfit? I mean, other than giving me super creepy flashbacks to Catholic school. She certainly looks too old to be in school. 
Unless she teaches at one. A 27 third grade teacher. Shoot. When she broke things off with Adam, he uploaded his revenge porn to Wobble. Wobble. Okay, that's how we got the Wobble connection. She was fired. <gasps> oh. And no dice because she had no connection to Nick. Uh. And shortly after she lost her job, she killed herself. Oh, no. No. Sounds to me like someone's doing our job for us. We don't exact vengeance, Lucifer. Well, maybe we should. As far as I'm concerned, these little wankers got exactly what they deserve. See you later. Oh, he's done. Case closed. Case closed. Well, I thought someone out there was stealing my job, but far be it for me to stand in the way of excellent work. I'm off for a drink. I can take the day off. I admire the steps you're taking. Well, don't admire too much. I'm still coming to Lux. Oh, yeah. Steps are fine. Plus, the view here is... Nice. What are they looking at? Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> it's normal that you be jealous of a new girlfriend. <laughs> She's just toxic. Lucifer doesn't see it, but I do. Oh, so you want to protect him? That's her job. Perhaps as Lucifer's friend, you can talk to him. Express how you feel. He won't listen. And maybe someone else will. Chloe's? Hey, Mamba. Take care of my friend. Why do I even try? Because you're an incredible woman. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Lux so bad. So, I reached out to Wobble to cross-reference who saw both Nick and Adam's videos. A bajillion people. She's enjoying this part of her human fleshy skin sack. What do you think you're doing? I'm taking your leave, son. Learning about your beloved humanity. But I have to admit, when I started dancing, rubbing up against the other humans, I got a tingling sensation. Okay. <laughs> I understand now why you have this provocative club. I understand why you amused yourself with that curvaceous savage. Curvaceous savage. <laughs> Why do you still punish people? That's what I've always done. That's not true. That's who your father wanted you to be. Are you still trying to win him over? Careful, Mother. Why? Are you going to punish me? That was a good growl. That was a good growl. I'll need a list of everyone who saw the videos. Sadly, we don't track people. Just IP addresses. And again, there would be hundreds of thousands of them, possibly. Can you take me through how your video process works? Well, our users can upload anything they want. And if we find that the content's inappropriate, it gets taken down. By who? Our content moderators. Who are? Frankly, most people can't stomach something so dark or upsetting. Right. <laughs> oh, detective, you're here. Did you know that this room collects all the best parts of the internet? But then I realized that our killer may have the answer to a question that I'm you know, struggling with. Why does he punish? First, you want to teach this vigilante a lesson, and now you want to have a talk with him? Yes, these videos are enthralling. No, I, I, can't, I can't watch these. Oh, I've seen worse. Oh. Someone's low, and he's still in the office. Waste the wine, pumpkin. We're trying to make it go slow. So how does he get his mojo back? Amenadiel, I know you're in there. Oh. Open up! <laughs> Expecting that. What are you hiding? Nothing. <laughs> I see what's going on with you. Humans say that rebound sex is important after a breakup. You don't have to hide that you're getting some. That's what she suspects. Right. That's what she expects. Suspects. Dan's working with Wobble to trace what moderator may have pulled both videos. 
So you think seeing someone they recognized in one of these twisted videos finally made them snap? Maybe it awakened something in them. They were just trying to do a job. A job no one else wanted. Well, maybe they chose that for a reason. No one chooses to be a sin eater, detective. But none of these people did it. Okay, I'm not following. Well, look at Tim there. With the photos of his ugly children. Poor Andrew is still hoping Destiny's child get back together. <laughs> Don't you see? These people still have hope. Who's had this job the longest? Um, maybe me. I've been at it two whole months. Wow. Anyone else? No. So who's before Other than you? Lila, of course. Lila, your boss. Yeah, she was the first of us. Thanks. I can't believe we had the killer right under our nose. And she's gone. Lucy! He brought a bottle with him. <laughs> He's not here. I'm sorry, are you his latest, uh... Trust me, I'm not his latest anything. So what are you doing here, then? I'm having a bit of an existential crisis, I suppose. I've been known to be a good listener. Okay. Uh, I'm having some trouble with my kids. I'm trying to get closer to them, but I'm not having much luck. Tell me, are you a good son? I try to be. What a good son, blindly, take his father's side on a divorce. What a good son, sent his mother to hell. And what a good son, stand here right before me, without a care in the world, plotting to send me back. Mom? I thought I would come to Earth to be with my sons. I've come to kill you all. <laughs> I'm tired of fighting for things that I'm never going to have. So just take me back, Amenadiel. I'm ready. I will always love you. Always. She's pretty good at this. She got him when he's low. It's a judgment day. People should really be careful how they use that phrase. It isn't actually due for another couple of years. Punishment live. Kill herself live on the air. What? what? Dealing with someone smart and clever who tortured with a brutal sense of irony, but killing herself whilst humiliating a company. Doesn't fit the pattern. Hey, Sharon, can you pull up the video of Lila driving again? What are you looking for, detective? Zoom in to the edge of the seat. Someone with her. She's in danger. You understand the sickle pretty well. Where do you think he's gone? Somewhere linked to our sins, I suppose. So what are her sins? Hey, Dan, how's the trace coming? The IP just keeps pinging back to Wobble's main server. It's got to be a mistake. Unless it's not a mistake at all. You know, if you take away the blinky lights and add some lost souls, this place bears a striking resemblance to hell. Yeah, but where's the killer? And tonight, I go down with the ship. Right alongside all of those awful sins. Are they gonna blow up the servers with her in the room? Don't make me do this, <laughs> please. <gasps> oh. Goodness me, I should have known. Nanotosis, first sign of evil. Oh. More fire. He drops that lighter, he'll kill her. I don't have a shot. Oh, it might go out before it falls. Okay, detective, this next part will be much easier if you're not here, so I'm gonna politely ask you to leave, okay? Oh, yeah. Hate to uh, blow up your spot, but I have a question to ask you before you complete this twisted little mise en scene. I swear I will drop this and she is dead. It's so you. Indulge me this one simple query. All right, this is going to be simple. Why? I understand the longing for justice or the joy of sweet revenge, but no one's forcing you to do this, so why would you take it upon yourself? Evil is constantly spreading. I had to do something. You're wrong. 
You didn't have to do anything. You wanted to punish them. But then you got a taste for blood, and it felt good, didn't it? I was doing my part. We both know you can't stop because you love it. Just like the people you punished. I don't. I do. That is a way to phrase that. I like seeing them beg for forgiveness. You see, the difference between us is that you became part of the problem, Ray. Someone deserving punishment. You're right. <gasps> He's gonna drop it on himself. I do. He's gonna shoot himself. He's gone. No. Right! <laughs> the suit. That's the thought. The suit. So I've had some time to think. And um, I realize that I've been really harsh lately. It's okay. No, let me finish, please. She's going to do this here. She's going to do that there. I did. I felt really betrayed. You've been working so hard to make it right. And... I feel like for the sake of Trixie that we should go on the trip. With what outcome? Leading to- I can't do that. What? You were right before. We shouldn't lie to our daughter. Okay. And I'm always gonna be part of your lives. But we've been living in the past for too long. It's time we get a divorce. And they did it where they work. So that seat will always have that memory. Tell me you didn't do it. Do what? Don't play stupid with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Easy, Lucifer. I told you, Lucifer. A mother's love counts for more than you think. So you're going against dad? Things change, brother. Do they? Well, I, for one, am grateful that we're all just in the same room, together as a family again. I don't know, family is kind of strong together. Sure, family, hmm. I told you that you could stay here until I figured out how to reconcile my deal with dad, and now I have. So you're going to punish me anyway? I punish because I'm good at it. Which brings me to your sentence. You shall remain right here on earth amongst the creatures you so despise. No powers. You're going to send me into the life of Charlotte Richards? <laughs> mm-hmm. But that husband. And there's children, right? But if you truly want to be with your sons, then that's the price that you have to pay. Those poor children. Those poor children. So be it. Does she have powers? Besides manipulation, she's pretty damn good at that. Who's mom eating up with? Money of your life, bitch. I, I choose money. <laughs> Does anyone choose life? And that doesn't vary. Give me I, I'll give you what you want. Just hold on. I said hold She has powers. So how does the goddess have powers? What are her powers? So mom does have powers, but Lucifer sentenced her to be a human. So I thought Lucifer had the power to strip her from powers just by sentencing her to be human, but apparently not. What other powers would this goddess have? What other, what powers did the goddess have besides birthing children and causing floods and famines and, and whatnot? What were they doing before her, them, them, I mean, goddess and God, what were they doing before the earth and people? Just, who are their parents? <laughs> Did you see my brain just go, whoo? Is it necessary? No, but it's things I think about. So what is mama's mission to take down God? Is that what she's there for? Don't tell me. 
That's what I'm speculating. She's trying somehow to gather forces to go against the father. We'll see. Dan and Chloe finally, finally making something clear. Yes, please and thank you. Because that whole, it was very muddy and just kind of conveniently there. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. Especially with them having the same job. Ne never got that. Yeah, never. And is this why we're seeing the start of a minute ill embracing not being angelic, like being more human, having faults? And what path does that lead him on? Intriguing. And we saw Linda. Hopefully Linda was having a good time. And how does Mama get into the life of Charlotte? Does she? Huh. There's some interesting choices that I can't, I'm intrigued to see how they weave out and fall into place. Because right now I'm looking at it going, is that the best choice? And it may be. Can't wait to see. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so there we go. Episode three. Done. We're getting closer to the ever present. So I was the sixes with y'all. I think it was one six before, or one nine and two six. Whatever it is, we're getting closer to the one you're all excited about. So yay. So don't be strangers. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And then take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to stand up, walk around the living room, get some water, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time. <laughs>